Alright everybody, the time has come. It is the last day of Vlogmas. It is Vlogmas Day 31. Happy New Year! I hope you all had an amazing New Year's Eve and you are excited about what is to come in 2020. I am not because I have to take down the Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm excited for the rest of 2020, just not taking down my tree. But I do like a clean slate as I've mentioned several times. And last year it only took me 45 minutes to put away all the Christmas decorations. If you want to see the record speed, I'll link that video up there in the corner. But I'm not going to film that today, I just want to get it done. So that we can talk about more business things. And more New Year things and goal things and achievement things for the New Year. This little peanut is trying to see what's going on. Right Daisy? Daisy. What are you doing, little eye patch? Little cutie? Oh, you're so sweet. The star of the show, really. Let's be honest, if you've made it this far into Vlogmas, you're not here for me. You're here for the dogs. I'm not hurt by this. It's just facts. There it is. The sad corner of emptiness for another 10.25 months. <laughs> But to be fair, I would really love it if we actually never have to put up a tree in this apartment again. I would love to just be in my house by the holidays this year. You know, God will have his own timing on the construction of this house, but the agency is going really well. My online coaching business is going extraordinarily well, especially with this new program, the Bizfluencer Bootcamp. We start so, so soon. If you want to learn more, click up here in the corner. It's going to make your 2020 your best year yet. If you are an online coach, consultant, expert, network marketer, it's gonna teach you everything you need to know about building a personal brand that actually sticks on social and turns your audience members into customers. It makes sure you have better leads. It makes sure you convert more people on your sales calls. You make more sales. You have a bigger impact and you grow your personal brand that has purpose. So all around, it's a win-win. And with the introduction of that program, plus all of the new seven and eight figure clients we have in the agency, plus it looks like Jeff is about to get a job. We have the finances figured out for the house, but it's, you know, a hurricane could come in the middle of construction and just stop everything. So you never know what the timing of these things, but pray that the timing is right, that I will have my real size tree next year and not that tiny apartment tree and that tiny apartment tree can be the second tree tree number two instead of the main tree that would be ideal all right so i just had a little bit of a late lunch just something small because jeff and i are going to eat dinner some spaghetti squash uh bolognese bake leftover we need that for dinner so i wanted to save my appetite for spaghetti and cheese obviously <laughs> so just had something small i've just been staring at the empty corner where the christmas tree used to be i actually like it though i like that i'm feeling like we're having a fresh start the office is next that place looks like a tornado went through it and you guys saw me clean it during vlogmas but guess what it's dirty again don't know why i was doing a lot of my work out here in the kitchen just so that I could spend time with Jeff during the holidays. And so my office became a dumping ground for papers and bags. And now our laundry is drying in there on some drying racks. And the Christmas boxes that need to go back up in the closet are on the floor. Our avocado tree is in there that needs to get switched with our lemon. Because now that it's blooming, Jeff is allergic to the pollen. So we have to switch the avocado and the lemon later when Jeff gets home because I need his help getting the branches around the door frames. Uh, so the office is a mess. The closet needs to get done, but it'll get done this week. Ideally, I would have loved to do that prior to New Year's Day, but it is what it is. And I do have a lot of things to get done work-wise this week because after the lull of the holidays, I feel like all of the entrepreneurs that I work with are so excited to get started on their plans for 2020. And I want to make sure that I'm supporting them in the best way possible. My one-on-one -on -one clients, the clients that are in the Bizfluencer Bootcamp, I want to make sure that they are getting everything they need from me to make this year their very, very best year yet. And the way I do that is 
by simplifying this whole process of getting clients online because I feel like one of the things that I did incorrectly when I first started my coaching business online was trying to get clients using my own efforts and just like throwing content at the wall, as much content as I could possibly produce and saying whatever I thought would get attention. Obviously not controversial stuff, but I would just post things that wouldn't necessarily lead to a sale, but would get traction. So I wasn't necessarily off message, but the content that I was producing didn't have a direct way to convert into money which for a long time, like I'm talking years, meant that I wasn't making money in my business. And if you're in that same situation where you're like, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Pinterest, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Facebook, I'm doing all of this content and none of it seems to be translating into money in my bank account, it may be because your strategy is not the correct one. It's not that you can't post the right things. It's not that your message is landing on deaf ears. It's not that your market is saturated. It's not that your market is saturated because guess what? No one has what you have. You are the coach for so many people. You're the ideal coach for so many people in your audience. And it's a matter of saying the right things, having the right funnel, and making sure you get that content in front of the right people. And if you're struggling to convert content into sales, one of those things is off, I guarantee it. I've seen it time and time again, and I fixed it for myself, I fixed it for my clients, and I wanna fix it for you too. So if you're wondering how to get more clients online, it's a matter of making sure your content is the right content going out via the right channels, and it's saying the right thing to the right people in order to induce them to buy. If you're not doing that, why are you on social media? Like if you're a business owner and you're not creating content that's gonna convert into sales for your business, what are you doing? because popularity doesn't pay the bills. I don't care if you have a million followers on every social media platform, if your content doesn't convert to sales, you are still gonna have trouble paying your bills. And what should be encouraging to you is that the inverse is also true, meaning that if you only have a few followers, if they're the exact right people and you say to them the things that add value to their lives and the things that they need to hear to know that you are the person to take the next step with, to know that you're their ideal coach, all your bills will be paid, you will be living in all of the abundance that you wanna live in. I am proof of this <laughs> because as soon as I started creating my content intentionally to attract and convert the right people, my business exploded. Guys, I created a six-figure agency in less than a year. This year in 2019, I started my agency services and we hit six figures within eight or nine months. So all of that is thanks to putting the proper content online and making sure that your funnels, your business structure, and your messaging is all pointing toward the conversion. It's Vlogmas has been great. I love vlogging, but what was a struggle for me during Vlogmas was that a lot of the content I was putting out there and a lot of what was getting attention wasn't pointing to my business. But now after doing it for 31 days, I realized connection with the audience is the purpose of Vlogmas. And I'm happy to keep doing it. I'm happy to add more vlogs into my rep. What I was hoping to do for January was to give you guys a lot of videos about making it your best business year yet, a lot of information about using social media properly, connecting with your audience, saying the right things so that you can build your business using content that you can post for free online. No ads no digital prospecting, no putting your own sweat equity in to get each little customer. Rather, you're leveraging the power of social media, which is broad audience and using the internal social media features that each platform offers to get your content in front of the exact right people. So that's what I was hoping to focus on in January. However, I have noticed over the last month that so many of you are loving the vlogs. So if you would like please leave a comment and let me know and I'll be happy to add more vlogs in as bonus videos. They're not gonna replace anything, they're just gonna be bonus videos for you guys to enjoy, for us to get to know each other and for us to have fun together because I always wanna do that as well. Plus, how are you gonna see Minnie and Daisy if I don't do vlogs? They're not just gonna show up. <laughs> and I know you're all here for the Minnie and Daisy show. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna edit this video and then I'm going to get to some planning, some exciting things for January. Thank you so much for watching Vlogmas. I love you so, so much. I had such a great time with this holiday season with you guys. And I will see you back here on Monday for a brand new regularly scheduled video in the number one place to learn how to create content that converts. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.